Hi, I don't usually do a, a live feed this kind of early in the morning because I always reckon, you know, people are trying to get to work or whatever. But uh, this morning it felt like it was important to do it. Um, some of the things that have been going on, uh, in particular with Momentum and Jeremy, I just feel we need to have... Um, some reflection on it also because I've had a huge number of people contacting me and asking me to start a new grassroots movement so I want to really respond to that as well first thing I want to talk about is what's happened with Momentum and Wheelsman look let's face it the drawing up of the left slate has never been really democratic and the drawing up of this last slate was even worse than usual. That was one of the reasons why the Labour Representation Committee, of which I'm on the executive, didn't join in the process. And it, the whole farce of it has been proven, really, by the fact that when John Lensman, because it would be him, decided that he wanted to get rid of Pete Willsman, and that is something, by the way, that he's spoken to me about, that he's wanted to do for years... Uh, when he wanted to get rid of Pete Willsman, he didn't actually contact any of the groups that were in the so-called um, slate-making process. And what we would have seen him do is he would have got in touch with some of the officers and he would have told them in a kind of, you know, uh, very um, kind of suggestive manner which way he was going and the decision would have been made. Now, that's the officers, of course. He didn't even bother, uh, of course, contacting the whole NCG, and he will say he couldn't do it, there was pressure of time. But I want you to think, we've seen this before, this is exactly the same strategy that Landsman used to pull off the coup, it was the same strategy he used to um, uh, remove me from my position in Momentum. He's done it with Pete Willsman, and can I just say, he will do it with anybody who gets in his way of his purpose, which is to bring together the left and the sort of, uh, the people who have the same sentiments as the Jewish labor movement in terms of the relationship towards Israel and what is called, whatever that means, the Jewish community. Now that is a pointer to what is, likely to be going on behind the scenes and for any of us who actually understand that this is a very worrying point this is probably the most dangerous point of the Corbyn leadership that there has actually been now what to do about it well if you're momentum members um, obviously the thing to do is get in touch with your NCG representative. They won't be able to do anything, but it will show. Get in touch with uh, John Landsman. Make him know how you feel. Make him know how you feel about Corbyn. Make him know how you feel about um, uh, support for Palestinians, for Israel, for democracy. I mean, the, the, the extraordinary thing about this group running a running um, a programme called The World Transformed. I think they mustn't have a, a sense of irony here at all. But anyway, people have been asking me what to do and a lot of people have been saying, can we set up a new organisation? Will you set up a new organisation? And my answer is I'm not. I'm not going to do that. And it's for a number of reasons. One is I am sure that my hearing will be very soon. But the second is, at this point, the last thing we need to do is to put our energies into forming new organisations. We don't need to do that. But we do need to maybe think about what a number of people have been doing already, including in my own local, what is called Momentum Group. Now, what's happened there is most people there have actually left Momentum so we're not paying into uh, the coffers of Momentum. One or two people are uh, still there. Um, I'm talking about in terms of the activists. And so they get information. We join in with whatever Momentum uh, 
is doing that we like, but we have an independent voice. And whether you call it, oh, I don't know, Rochester left or, or, or um, you know, Corbyn for Durham, it doesn't matter. But I do think what people should be thinking of doing is forming independent grassroots local groups. Now, if you want to do that and you want to have me come along and talk to you about it, if you want to have me come round and talk to you about what is going on, then just get in touch with me. Once you're organised as a local group, that would be the time to start networking. Um, but this idea that you can run a top-down grassroots movement is nonsense. Momentum is not, and really never achieved, being a grassroots movement. If you want to be a grassroots movement, you start it. Don't ask me to actually do it. Um, just in terms of my hearing, I'm absolutely positive my hearing will be very soon. And I think if you look at the atmosphere there is at the moment, you can see how much justice uh, I'm hoping for. What I do want from people is, uh, you know, continuing support. I am absolutely determined and happy and confident that um, my voice will come out strong and clear and true throughout this. So what I'm saying to you is, if you're not happy about what's happening, take control of your local group. Form a local group. Start acting to support Corbyn, unencumbered by the entrapments of the mechanism of momentum. If you need to use momentum, if you want to use momentum, get on and do it. If you want me to take a part in it, that's fine, get in touch with me, but this is not the time to start a new group. And um, I think what we do need to be doing at this point is keeping a very close eye, remembering what I said, that landsmen will drop anyone and will try and get rid of anybody who he sees is an impediment to his personal project. Keep a very close on what's happening with Jeremy Corbyn. Keep that support for him going on and just make sure you get your views heard loud and clear. Okay, have a great time. <laughs>